So firstly, we'll just create an artboard, which is the A key for a shortcut there. I mean, it doesn't matter what size, so we'll just make that 1000 by 1000. Okay. So what I'll do is create a button. So I'll just press U, which is a shortcut for a rounded rectangle. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter what size, this is just for um, showing you guys. Um, we'll just add secondary CTA first. Okay, so we've got that. We'll make these uh, black. We've got secondary CTA and then um, put a fill on this. Okay. And we'll make that white. I'll drop that down there and I'll just call this primary CTA. Okay, so we've got our two buttons here. Um, and what you want to do is select both. Um, you can put them in a folder. Um, it doesn't really matter because when you detach a symbol anyway, it puts them in a folder. Um, but we'll, we'll put these in a the folder regardless. So that is Command G for shortcut. And it creates a group and we'll just call this secondary CTA. And then we'll call these primary CTA. Um, okay, so to actually create a symbol, if you click on the, uh, the elements that you want to um, put in the symbol, just select them, right click, and then create symbol, which is just in the right click panel there. And it'll bring up this uh, little drop down at the top. And the naming convention is based off the folder. Um, if you haven't already named this, then you can just name it up in the top and the symbol will be named after that. And you want to tick this, send symbol to symbols page. So once you've done that, click OK and it's changed it into a symbol here and it's sent it to the symbols page. So I'll quickly do this one as well. We'll just call that primary CTA, yeah, perfect. Okay, so they're both symbols and if you go to the symbols page, it just lists them as individual artboards, um, the size of the actual elements in there. So once you've got these, you can edit them in here, um, like styling wise. So you can change the colors um, the font weight, like the size of the font, um, and that will edit them on the actual page. So if I change this background here to be red, for example, that will change it on here. So if you have multiple of these um, symbols throughout your designs, they will all carry that same trait. So if I change that back to black, they all change. So it's really useful if you have stuff like um, headers and footers, um, especially stylistic wise, because if you change the background of it, it will change across the board. So you only have to change it the ones, um, which is really, really useful. Uh, so if I, I'll knock that up a few. And drop that in the middle. And there, it's changed the size. Um, regarding the actual override, so if you select a, um, a symbol there, these are your overrides in the right hand panel. Um, so it allows you to change the text in the button, which doesn't actually affect the symbol. So if I change this to button test, that just um, changes that. And you'll notice that's not in the center. It's just because I haven't centered this text here. There. So that will just change for that symbol, but not all of them. Um, if you do want the same text in all of the symbols, uh, let's say, um, test V2. That's still, ha um, that's still got an override in the panel, but if you delete that, that will just carry that trait for all of the symbols. Um, if you do want to actually t uh, detach a symbol, so you want to purposely change this without editing it in the symbols, which will change all of them, all you have to do is um, right click on the symbol and it's right down at the bottom on detach symbol. And that will just drop it back into the folder there with the actual name of that symbol. 